Okay, okay, the tax season is starting and if you're investing, you need the tax statements for, from your broker so you can file your taxes. But where the heck can you find it? That's why in this video, I'll show you exactly how, how to download your tax reports from interactive brokers, the Giro, eToro, Trade Republic, and Trading212 step by step. Because let's be honest, it's uh, already extremely frustrating to pay taxes, but on top of that, some of the platforms make it super hard to find the statement. <laughs> Hello, finance people. I'm Robert and on this channel I talk about investing and personal finance from a European perspective. And by the way, I've added timestamps. It's in the video description so you can skip to the platform you're actually using. So let's start with interactive brokers. So to see the tax statements in interactive brokers, uh, make sure you log in. Here you have login and I just go here to portal login. And then once you've logged in, here you can come to performance and reports. You click on it, you have here tax documents. Now, once this loads, you can see that for 2024, you don't have anything right now here uh, just because they have certain dates when they release this information. So for example, here we see non-US clients, uh, the dividend reports are on March 17th. 2025 and this is like a bit more than a week from uh, now when I'm recording this video so there's nothing in here but if we take a look at the previous years from here you can see this is what you're going to see you have the common reporting standard report and dividend reports if I look at the standard report it downloads it from here and you can see it just states all the things that happened throughout the year on your account here and then for dividend report, if we look at the HTML, you have account information, but also like dividend details and things like that. So here you're able to see all that and print it out if you need it for your taxes. Now to get the taxes in the Jiro, you just head to uh, inbox and then you have documents. And from here you should see, in my, mine is in Dutch, so let me change the language, but basically here you have annual statement 2024. You should already have it if you're watching it now. So you can just download it from here. And it has kind of all the details you want. Mine is in Dutch, but uh, if you're in another country, you'll have it uh, in another language, hopefully at least. Uh, that's what I've seen uh, so far. But And in this one, you'll have information like the just in total what you've done this year or the previous year, obviously, and then uh, the dividends for 2024. And speaking of taxes, I also have a newsletter where I share insights on investing and personal finance from a European perspective. Over 200 Europeans are already reading it every week. Why not join them? Sign up and the link is in the video description. And then if you're using eToro, this is how you get it. Basically, you just scroll down here to settings. Then you have here account. And if you scroll down, you have tax reports here. From here, you can choose the language. I only have two here. Let's say I took the Dutch one. And then if I create it, they're just gonna notify you when it's ready. It should be done, uh, well, they say six business days, but I think it's much faster than that. So make sure to do it uh, in before you're actually doing your taxes. Okay, for me, it took about 24 hours and then I got my tax uh, report. So you can see this is the email. And then if I click on it, it'll take me to eToro and actually uh, should give you the tax report here. There you go, you see it downloaded it automatically. So now if I open it up, you'll have your tax report from eToro. And then to get statements from Trading212, you just click on this menu icon and I'm in invest right now. If you scroll down to bottom here, you have documents. In here, you already have immediately, uh, I have cost and charges, but I actually need annual statements. So if I click on this, I'm able to preview it and also download it from here. You should have all the information here that you need for your taxes. And also, I don't know if you know this, but you also have other statements here. In some case, you need card statements, transactions. Uh, you also have uh, other things like monthly statements here. So if you need those, just grab them from here. So in Trade Republic, I couldn't find this feature on desktop. So I'm gonna use my mobile. And all you have to do is tap on your uh, profile pic here or like the name there. And then you scroll down and you have here at the bottom uh, statements. And now you can have account statements. Now I didn't find like a yearly uh, statement, although I've been more than a year with the with Trade Republic. Maybe they'll add it in a in a few weeks, like interactive brokers. But I, I couldn't find anything. So you can set here the dates you want, and then get a statement that way. And because it's a bank account, basically, maybe that's all you need. So you need to just check what you actually uh, what is required for in your country. And also here you have the portfolio statements just in case uh, you need that. 
you can have securities that basically you are stocks and ETFs and crypto is separate. So you're able to pull that data for specific dates. So while researching for this video, I came across this uh, post in Reddit and it's for finance in Austria. So you actually might get the Trade Republic tax report, but that's coming somewhere in June or mid-May, actually here mid-May, you're going to receive it and it's going to have more information there. But to be honest, I'm in Netherlands. I didn't get anything last year, although I've been now the whole year I've been now with them. So maybe this May I'll get something, but this might depend on your country. So you might get different types of reports based on your country. And it's not very clear on Trade Republic's website. When do you get these things, which is a bit annoying. Now you can file your taxes, but without the right long term investment strategy, it's going to be really hard to stay disciplined and you might lose money on the way. That's why you should watch this video next, where I reveal the only investment strategy you will ever need for long term investing.